first car, the Singleton Car Show, uh, well, kind of fitness at 205 for me. I think that's an engine swap, it wouldn't surprise me it's an MI16. But I could be wrong, I genuinely don't know what they look like. Nice heat shrink down there though, comb filter. Handbrake in the back, don't know whether they're going to rally or something, because it's 1.9, oh it was a 1.9 GTI, but I get the feeling the engine in it is not a 1.9 GTI anymore, but it's very nice. Very clean, I love the red interior on these ones. Maybe I should do that to mine eventually, but yeah, it low key. There's some similarities to my one, but yeah, this is the big one. Quite a fitting first car to see, I guess. We have an Escort RS Cosmic, which I started at the back because I'd say the best part of it is that, the wheel tail spoiler. Um, I mean, look at it from that angle, look at that. That's metal. White wheels, I like white wheels, big plus in my opinion. It's got a sunroof. And there is the magic, the turbo four cylinder. I don't know what engine code it is, but yeah, man. Iconic car and the carbon fiber. And the thing is actually like really nice on the inside too. But I love the white wheels, it's a very good touch. We got an MX-5 on something. Um, the reason I say that is because, uh, well, that external wastegate screamer bike right at the bonnet over there. Uh, I think it is the probably the 1.8. I would assume just turbocharged. The car is mental. Like I love the sleepy eye look. I think he's gonna start it, but I love the sleepy eye look. It's blowing up lovely. Turbo. <laughs> I've seen this before, but this Porsche is beautiful. One 930 generation, I think. But look at that, like, spoiler coming off the back. Which I'm pretty sure all this comes off as one to access the engine, if I remember correctly, with these things. But that spoiler, man, look at that from that angle. Wow. Uh, Carrera is very clean on the inside, and wow. It's like that. That thing sounds interesting. Look at that. That sounds nice. I don't even know what it is. Hold on. Let me go around the back. I don't even know what it is, but it's cool. Sounds like too. Nice. I think a 16 valve with um, harnesses, full bucket seat, left hand drive. Nice. Full rally car. I appreciate that. White wheels as well. That matches the rings on this. I assume that's where a fuel cell is, I would assume. Yeah, this thing is so sick. The interior is so like bare bones. I think that might be Kevlar on the floor, like carbon Kevlar, but it's so bare bones. You got all the like rally switches. It's like a proper, proper rally car. If you just look at the interior, you can tell. What a sick, sick car. Two cars which I've seen the build process on because they are my mates cars. This nice polo coupe. Uh, what was that, 93? Yeah, 93 with the white and white. I love a white and white car. It's done well. Amazing night. Yeah, it's done well on this one. Fair play. I like how low it is too. Like he's absolutely slammed. And then obviously the Golf. This is one of the most fun cars I've ever been in. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 1.6 driver, 1990. Um, I can't remember what's got done to it. I think it's got cams, pulled heads, a couple of things like I had the Weber carb, all that stuff. Um, and, and, and exhaust too, yeah, but this car is like the one of the most fun cars I've ever been in. And then obviously you've got the contrast, the polo. But this thing's like almost like a show car, man, with like the, the way it's built. A few bits, because it's my mate, I would like to say, it, I guess, there's a few bits which you could improve on, but yeah, these two together look so sick. So sick to see him on a show like that. We got, I believe, believe, Series 1 E-Type, 4.2, which I believe is the uh, straight six. I'm not, honestly, I don't know that much about E-Types, but I've come to appreciate them, to be fair, because everybody says oh, it's the best-selling car ever made. And I can kind of see it. I'm not 100% agree, but I can kind of see it, but the straight six engine, which they can have under there, sounds great with the way it just backfires and pops, because it's a car from the 60s. It's just uh, the straight six engine. I would honestly have over the V12. I think that's that might not be an unpopular opinion, but yeah. 
But that's just nice, there's some nice cream color on it too. I look the inside this truck. Hey, look at that. The handbrake's on the floor and I like this little gear stick on there. We've had a look for the camera, look at that. It's very cool on the inside. It's a bench seat, obviously there's no seat belts because it's old. But this is a very nice truck. For a little context, this is the outside of the truck. I like its sign. But yeah, this is the outside of the truck. I actually really like the color. Even in matte, I think it's a very nice color. A little Chevrolet, it's a straight six. Dimmer. Cleo Williams. You can tell because how white it is, obviously. The gold wheels. Clean on the inside, I mean. They got Bugatti down there. But yeah, look at this. Dimmer, if, uh, as far as I'm aware, is like a 90s body kit company. They made one for the 205, I know that. But this one's nice. I actually really like it. Look at like, I imagine airflow directs up that into the radiator in there. And it's got like yellow fog in it. It's got yellow fogs, gold badge because it's a Williams. Yeah, they killed it with this kit. Little vents on the side. Tesla Rossa S even. And then you know what? Well, next so we've got a little post wheels and a paint. I don't know if you're going to see on camera. Probably see me up there, but it's got like a blue pill. Very nice paint. I thought this was a common gear from the back, but it's actually a Volvo P1800, I believe, is what they are called. I think somebody took one of these for a million miles, which just shows Volvo's attacks. But I think, you know, I actually really like these cars because I can imagine if you do a few things to them, they could actually look really nice and even stock. It's a very nice design. Looks like with the time when the one is made, you know, but it's very nice, like the way it flows, this little bit up the side. Almost like Cadillac kind of, the chrome. It flows well. You got a nice uh, Cortina. Look how much space there is. Damn. Like, look at just this side. You could, fit, you could fit a pretty beefy engine there. N96 maybe? V8? Definitely. I reckon you could definitely fit V8. But it's nice. Like it's got the colour, period correct, the wheels, the three door. I didn't know they made Cortinas and three doors, but I guess they did at some point. Yeah, I like this one. 